Hey everybody, I was just posting another video and I noticed that this morning that Logic updated to 10.7.4. This is, uh, by all accounts, a relatively small update. Uh, although I have seen a couple people complaining online about one specific bug that maybe is fixed in this one, uh, that some people were blaming the third party effects, but it looks like it could be that it was Logic's fault after all. Specifically, that's this one right here with the automation. Uh, it said that automation and smart controls are now available for all audio unit instrument parameters, meaning that for a while, some period of time, it wasn't available for all parameters. So that seems like kind of a, a nice uh, perk for some of you who may have had some issues with that. Otherwise, it looks like uh, somebody at Slate Digital likes to complain to Apple a lot about their plugins uh, because they, I've seen them mentioned in these uh, notes a number of times. Good. You know, if you have uh, some plugins that don't seem to work right and it's Logic's fault, then, uh, then write the bug line for sure. Uh, it also makes me wonder, because I see them enough, I wonder if ever down the road Slate Digital is going to be just, you know, bought out by Apple completely, unless they already have. I don't know. Uh, spatial audio, a um, couple of fixes with this. There was a, a thing with a defaulting to the headphone media playback movie spatial audio setting. Default to the headphone media playback movie spatial audio set. I don't even know what that sentence really fixes something with spatial audio. And then bed and object tracks now remain in sync with each other when bypassing and re-engaging the Dolby Atmos plugin. That seems handy to have fixed. Uh, and then resolved an issue where notes could hang when audio, uh, when playing audio unit software instruments on Apple Silicon base Max. Cool, I haven't had that issue specifically. Um, and then third-party MIDI effects plugins now pass polyphonic MIDI data as expected. Sweet. Uh, and then we have those two already talked. Well, that one I already talked about. Then we have offline bounces now sound the same as real-time bounces when using the Apple renderer. So they weren't sounding the same before this, theoretically. I don't know if every case, but in some cases. Uh, and then... When the audio file recording format is set to CAF, Logic no longer records audio files as AIF. Thank you for fixing the things that shouldn't have been broken. Um, but cool, so like I said, a short list of things, but uh, so far projects are opening and uh, sound is working still, so it's not, uh, hasn't ruined my system completely to update to 10.7.4. Uh, check it out. If it's something that uh, looks like there's something that you need fixed with this, then uh, then then do it. Otherwise, if you're having a great day and uh, everything seems to be working just perfect, then don't do it yet until you need to. But um, hope this is a welcome announcement to some of you, and I will talk to you all later.